All right, what is going on party people? Um, today I'm gonna to talk about local SEO. So comment local SEO for the YouTube algorithm for, you know, to give thanks for someone on YouTube who's giving it all away for free. And the only thing I ask of you is to like, subscribe, and comment local SEO for the YouTube album algorithm. So um, what I'm gonna talk about today exactly is a, a dummy's guide to local SEO in 2024. Um, I'm going to lay out ex pretty much exactly what you can do from A to Z, but it's going to be the short version. For the long version, obviously, I'm going to have to push you guys to the advised community. There, I, I lay it out like step by step exactly what you should do, um, how to fill out the forms, how to order, um, which... Uh, which service providers I've tested in the past, yada, yada, yada. All right, so for the next couple minutes, I'm gonna be eating creatine. So if that offends you for some reason, please look away. Uh, if you also don't like someone reporting their numbers, think this guy's a cocky fuck, you must be new here because I do that every single day. Here we go. All right, so yesterday we did roughly 2.9K in total revenue. That's up about three four hundred $400 from the day before. Amazon at $1,090, still dropping. But guys, I have some exciting tests going on in uh, the advice community, so I'm, I'm so hyped for it. And then we got Mediavine at about $118. Not great, it's, it's whatever. And OnlyFans at $1,676. Really high yesterday. I guess everyone was horny on a Friday night. All right. So let's look at the granular numbers from yesterday. Cool. So yesterday, order revenue about 20.2K. Pretty bad, but should be okay. Um, we'll continue to monitor it next couple of days and keep you guys posted. Um, Levanta is up to 121. So pretty good day. Um, this will continue to go up where we've, we're back, baby. We're back. Anyways, let's talk about today's episode. I'll just jump right into it. Um, so if you want access to today's sheet, I think today is one of those ones that you kind of have to sign up for because um, you want to follow along. I probably re refer to it. It is what I offer in the advice community for free, but this is like the way shorter version. All right. So for the people who want to figure th themselves out, um, this is all the enough information to, you know, come back and reference in the future. So episode 208, let's talk about it. Local SEO in 2024 in a nutshell. It's all about map consistency or nap consistency. Sorry about that. Which means name, address, phone number, consistency across different sites and map embeds. What does that look like? So if you go, go to this example that I linked in section B, just go in, go to the very bottom, and then you'll see name, address, phone number. They're consistent. All right, so the more places this appears in, the better it is for local SEO. And local is pretty much just the snack pack that we've seen in the past. I've talked about this a ton in the, uh, in the past. And map embeds just kind of look like this. It's a map embed and uh, it's at your Google location. So all this is good for a local SEO. Um, so you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get as many citations as possible. Plus, what does the citation look like? It typically just looks like this. It looks like a you know wannabe Yelp page, but you just create it across the internet. Um, so what I recommend is you just pay this guy $5 for 50 citations and you're, you're done, all right? It's, you don't need 300. Most people get 300 because it's like 20 bucks. But, you know, five is enough. Five dollars is enough. All right. Second up, we got Kevin's PBN. Cheap AF is 1,000 PBNs for $33. They're pretty much the same as um, citations, but they're just PBNs instead. So PBNs are sites that are built only to build backlinks. Um, they're very dangerous. So what I urge you to do is instead of linking to directly to your site, you'll notice that movement room here, 
the example I used is unlinked. Because unlinked mentions are still good for local. Well, it's still good for SEO. Some may argue, but um, I'm jury's still out here. But the reason I do this is because it's a PBN. PBNs are inherently risky. So be informed before you build something like this. And um, make sure if, if you don't know what you're doing, make sure you sign up for the advice community to get the SOP so you fully know what you're, you're fully informed. All right. So if this is linked, movement room PR would be absolutely clapped. So do not link it unless you know what you're doing. Anyways, so instead of linking to you directly to your site, you use this as a citation by itself. And it links to a list of your PBNs or your citations that you built earlier. So as you can see, it links to bank using the anchor Vancouver kinesiology into a citation. So what it does is it powers up the citation plus itself. It's a citation. So it's like double whammy. All right. Um, and some may argue, Hey, how do you know Kevin's actually delivering these just change, change, uh, check Ahrefs. And if you're worried that it's not going to, um, index, then just submit it into an indexer. And I've already done experiments about this, so I'm not going to go through it again. That's it. And if you want the most local, you know, the white hat way to do things, it's probably just, you just do citations. Plus you do these local SEO guest posts that we started offering. They were, they're selling like hotcakes. So if you wanted to check out episode 172, I talk about it way more. Um, I also gave an example on this landing page. They're way more expensive than the others, but it's, it's for a good reason. All right. So if you just go into this page, scroll down to the bottom, this is what it'll look like. We'll literally build, if you're an SEO agency, we'll write an article about SEO on a guest post site, and then we'll have it embedded. We'll have the uh, citation embed plus the map embed at the very bottom of the article. And this is extremely good for SEO or local SEO. And this is a naked anchor backlink. And after uh, you order, you have the option to select do follow or no follow, or, you know, so if you, if, if, even if you're worried about getting clapped, you have the option to choose if you want this to be um, linked or unlinked. All right. So that's pretty much it for the nap consistency and nap map embeds. That's like the hardest part. I would say, what else do we have? We have five star reviews, which I would say I've done a video on it already. So just watch that. Plus, um, you can just beg friends for five star reviews. It shit's easy as hell. All right. Hopefully you guys have enough friends for like at least 10 reviews. Cause that's, that's enough to get going. All right. Next up your Google, my business location. So what does that mean? That just means this, this thing. All right. It has to be in the central area in which you're trying to rank for. So this is in the center of pretty much East. Well, you know, edge of East Vancouver, but we're targeting East Vancouver keywords. So what you can't be doing is if you're trying to be movement room and you want to be number one in Richmond, that's just hard as hell because you're too far from it. So location is extremely important. So if you have an off, like you, it's just good to set expectations, right? If you're in the middle of Richmond and you're trying to rank in Vancouver, like that, unless it's a non -com -com competitive niche, you're not doing it. But if it is a low competition niche, I'm pretty sure, you know, you can just rank throughout the lower mainland. But um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. So pick where if you're buying a Google My Business location, I don't recommend it as people has Google has sued people in the past for doing this. Um, but if you're buying a location, please make sure to buy in the very central area in which you're trying to rank for it. All right. So if you're in downtown Vancouver, and you're trying to rank for downtown Vancouver keywords, that's great. But don't just be in Richmond trying to rank for downtown Vancouver keywords. I hope that makes sense. All right. Next up. Last but not least, it's just CTR campaigns. And what that means is people will just go on. I don't know how to do this. Um, they just go on like Google Maps. What these uh, software do, does is it just goes on Google Maps, searches it, and then engages on your Google My Business location. And after my test recently, I just, <laughs> I urge you to have CTR campaigns running at all times. It's, it's, it just fully works. All right. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, what I'd recommend is just using Serp Empire. I linked it here. Free trial. If you go through my link, I believe, um, I think you get like a hundred clicks for free, which is worth like 
seven dollars so just give it a try run it for a month and i'm sure you'll see results and i also got a ton of questions how i track my results i use local dominator it's all right it's a bit buggy but um it's probably the cheapest one i have found uh but besides that yeah that's i think that's it i think i covered all the bases from beginning to end if you want me to like highlight certain things i'm sorry i can't um i've already done so in the advice community so just sign up sign up all right we have 350 people in there and they're all chatting local seo all day every day anyways that's it for today i'm going to answer just a few questions from the day before and then go from there the problem with seos telling people what works is it ceases to work because everyone's doing it yeah and also it like brings attention i'm pretty sure google has linked my tweet to their internal teams before it's just pretty jokes Hey bro, quick question. Thoughts on general block for Amazon affiliate, one country focused? Yeah, um, but it's it's hard to start right now. Reddit clapped my two-year-old subreddit. I was ranking for hundreds of keywords. Got clapped on Black Friday update when Reddit went public. Interesting. G feds are definitely lurking. Probably some narcos in advice too. Probably. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, yeah. Hey Jackie, what is the short-term... Uh, Lisbon STR in your income report. It's a uh, short-term rentals. So it's like an Airbnb that I own. Right for the algo. I thought advice community was closed. Um, yeah, we had a couple of users leave, so yeah, we're a okay. Notice your subreddit. I'm learning right. How do I make money with OnlyFans? Uh, I already talked about it several times. So just watch the videos in the past. Just search OnlyFans on my channel. It should be easy. Right for algos. Thank you. All right, one last question. NRS because he's. Frequent commenter, trying to rank local rank of red. Top site is 20 year old, exact match domain, 14 DA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much competition. Can I outrank that site or not? My site is 300, 1300 words. How can I outrank if not? Uh, yeah, you can outrank. It just takes time. Just wait. Just wait it out. All right, guys. Um, be patient. You guys, maybe I'm selling it wrong. Maybe I'm telling you guys it's too easy and it's too quick. It's not that quick. So, Give it like a month or two, all right? Uh, just chill out, all right? Chill out, sit on your hands for a bit, go out and touch grass, all right? Um, that's it for today. If you guys like today's episode, remember to subscribe to see more and comment local SEO to help me out. All right, guys, see you guys tomorrow.